Hello, cloud gurus. Welcome to the weekly show that keeps you in the loop with curated news from Amazon Web Services. This week, we'll discuss using code from the serverless snippets collection, Compute Optimizer can now be used across multiple accounts, Amazon CloudFront now supports HTTP3, and the AWS summits are in full swing. I'm Michael Jenkins, and you're watching AWS This Week. The Serverless Land website has plenty of content for fans of all things serverless, including blog posts, videos, and serverless workflows. And now they've added code snippets. The goal of the Serverless Snippets Collection is to make it easy for everyone to discover, copy, and share common code that can help with serverless application development. Each code snippet is provided by AWS developer advocates or trusted members of the community. Using the collection is easy. You just filter out the examples by AWS service or programming language and then copy the code into your editor. To make things even easier, some snippets have a link that opens the code directly into your AWS console. Amazing. This next announcement brings together two great services, AWS Organizations and AWS Compute Optimizer. AWS Organizations lets you manage multiple accounts from one central account. You can view billing, share credits, create governance policies, and so much more across all sub-accounts. An AWS Compute Optimizer helps you reduce costs by continuously monitoring EC2 instances, EBS volumes, and Lambda functions to help you find ways to reduce costs and improve performance. Starting now, you can use one account to collect Compute Optimizer reports from all accounts in an organization. Using this capability, you'll only have to check one location to identify all the ways to right-size your servers, buckets, and functions so you're operating more efficiently and saving money every month. Speaking of saving money, A Cloud Guru has just launched a new time-limited offer for personal annual plans, saving you, wait for it, 40%. These plans give you access to great course features like hands-on labs and practice exams, making it easier to kickstart your cloud career. If you're interested, scan the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description below. Amazon CloudFront delivers your websites quickly by caching images, videos, and text, and then placing that content closer to your users all around the world. Now, AWS is setting the stage for your website to be served even faster. Amazon CloudFront has added support for HTTP3 in new and existing CloudFront distributions. All you have to do is enable HTTP3 in your CloudFront console. HTTP3 speeds up the connections between CloudFront and the latest versions of popular browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. To make the most of an HTTP3 connection, the protocol has to be enabled on the browser side as well. The website caniuse.com slash HTTP3 shows how to enable HTTP3 for all popular browsers. This time of year is my favorite because it means AWS Summits. AWS Summits bring all the latest and greatest of AWS to a town near you. These in-person events are held all over the world and they're happening right now. And if you didn't know, they're free to attend. I attended the AWS Summit in Anaheim, California, and I must say, I had a great time learning about new features on the AWS roadmap, meeting AWS partners, and of course, networking with other AWS fans. There are still several summits coming up, including Chicago, Illinois, Canberra, Australia, New Delhi, India, and Mexico City, Mexico. To register, just follow the link in the description to the AWS Events website and look for Summits. Then filter by your region to find a summit that's happening close to you. And if you miss the summit in your area, don't worry. Many summit sessions are recorded so you can watch them at your leisure. Thanks for joining me for AWS This Week. As always, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus. I'll see you soon.